The Robbinsdale Area School District is facing a budget deficit the district officials call startling and difficult. The district recently reassessed its financial situation and found a more than $20 million shortfall for the 2025-26 school year. That's partly due to a $20 million budgeting error that resulted in the district overstating its available resources. The district had also planned on cutting about $17 million from its budget this school year. In reality, it's only cut about $3 million. District officials say cuts alone won't be enough to balance the budget. If all we do right now is talk about the reductions, given our current enrollment projections already, we risk families and students leaving and not believing in us. The district may look to bonding or a referendum to help cover the shortfall. District finances will also come under more scrutiny from the Minnesota Department of Education. This comes after the district's credit rating fell by two scores. The district is hosting a State of the Budget Town Hall Wednesday night at Cooper High School. Meanwhile, in the Osseo School District, construction could start as early as February on a brand new elementary school. The Maple Grove City Council approved plans for a new pre-K through 5th grade school on land at the northwest corner of Arbor Ridge Parkway North and 101st Avenue. The new school would serve up to 1,100 students. The school building will occupy the center of the site, with ball fields to the south and open fields and a natural area for outdoor learning to the north. It's scheduled to open in time for the start of school in fall of 2026. A Brooklyn Park police officer is out of the hospital after his squad car was struck by another driver. A CCX News photojournalist happened to be driving by when he spotted the crash scene Monday afternoon at the intersection of Brooklyn Boulevard and West Broadway Avenue. Police say the officer was responding to an injury accident with lights and sirens on. As the officer slowed at the intersection, police say it appeared all traffic was yielding. That is, except for one vehicle that slammed into the police squad. Police say the officer was treated for minor injuries. The other driver involved in the crash did not require medical attention. Well, there's some good news on the local health care front. Local health officials say the nation's IV fluid shortage could be significantly improved by the end of the year. But our local health systems aren't out of the woods yet. Hurricane Helene knocked a plant in North Carolina offline in September, impacting hospitals and clinics across the country, including Hennepin County Medical Center and North Memorial Health Hospital. That plant supplies 60% of the nation's IV solutions. Earlier this month, that plant resumed production, but officials say conservation will continue as people try to squeeze in procedures before the end of the year. So when this first happened, uh, we were canceling surgeries. Um, canceling different procedures that were coming up for folks. Um, I think that's, that's sort of slowing down a little bit. There are some different procedures where, where they use uh, high amounts of fluid that are getting postponed um, if they're not critical. Um, but for the most part, we're hoping by the end of this, uh, end of the year, we'll be back up to 100%. Hennepin Healthcare says there's 40 different types of IV solutions used for surgery, hydration, and nutrition. America runs on Duncan. The Twin Cities Northwest suburbs are increasingly running on it too. The famous coffee and donut chain has expanded with a new store in Crystal. The building used to be a Dairy Queen and received extensive remodeling. On Tuesday, the franchise owner celebrated the store's grand opening. Crystal is a, a market we were looking at for a long time. We we're trying to find something and you know, this is a Great piece of real estate that we got here with a lit intersection, great visibility, and yeah, we're looking to get involved with the community. Duncan presented a $1,500 check to support Seep's Meals on Wheels program. Besides Crystal, Duncan has locations in New Hope, Plymouth, and two in Maple Grove. The Animal Humane Society is asking the community for financial help to continue supporting our four-legged friends. For us, the money that comes from the community, that is about 60% of our entire budget comes through donations. The other 40% is from our services that we provide, whether that's the adoption fee that you might pay, taking a behavior um, or training class with us. An anonymous donor is tripling donations to the Humane Society this week. Those matching funds will provide up to $50,000 for the Humane Society. It cost the agency about $13 million last year to take care of the 13,000 animals that come through the door. A spokesperson said donations will help provide more than just adoption services. And we run a temporary pet housing program. So maybe you are having a medical crisis. Maybe you are a victim of domestic violence and you just need 
someone to watch your pet for 60 days, we can do that for you. The Humane Society has shelters in Golden Valley, Coon Rapids, and Woodbury. It's a sure sign of the season of giving, the fourth annual fill a truck donation drive. Two men and a truck volunteers manned the truck outside Hy-Vee in New Hope on Tuesday. They asked shoppers to add a few extra items to their cart to support Prism's food shelf. Marketing director Sally Flink says volunteers are hoping to go even bigger in the drive's fourth year. It's been very successful in the past, so we typically get about 2,000 pounds of food. This year we're really pushing our goals and hoping for about 4,000 pounds. So we have pre-packed bags inside that people can buy and make it even easier for them to donate. Flink says the need at Prism only grows. The food shelf is seeing over 1,000 people a week, so anything helps. If you miss the food drive at the New Hope Hy-Vee, you can donate at the Prism food shelf in Golden Valley. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku.